While the U.S. tracked a caterpillar infestation from space, you may have missed this stupid phone being marketed to women and sound waves being used to monitor sewer lines. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where checking out your local sewer lines is usually a little less Donatello Here we go. and a little more Stephen King's It. Aren't you going to say hello? However, the city of Rockville, Maryland, you know how they say it? Merlin, is testing out technology built with a grant from the National Science Foundation to check for clogs in sewer lines. The InfoSense device is called the SL Rat, for good reason, I'm sure. First, you open two manhole covers and lower twin devices down. Then they send sound waves to each other and give a rating from zero to 10, with 10 meaning there are no obstructions. Anything over a six is considered fine. Before the city purchased this, we usually used the camera truck. Since these came along, it makes it a lot easier. Cowabunga dudes! And in Why Does This Exist? We give you the latest smartphone to completely creep out any self-respecting woman. These Chinese Kiku K1 ads are of course predominantly pink and say they cater to the selfie needs of women with a front-facing flash, automatically making skin look delicate and smooth. I wish I were kidding. Friends, I just need my phone to get directions, have a good battery, and find some Pokemon already. Pink wash that. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. The White House plans to spend $400 million on 5G research led by the National Science Foundation. The Curiosity rover woke up from its weekend-long power nap to resume exploring Mars. Turkey's government blocked Facebook and Twitter during, at this point, an attempted coup. You'll be able to build your own vault in Fallout 4 next week. And if you were all under a rock all week, Pokemon Go took over the world. I'm taking a pokey break for the weekend, so I hope you all have good ones.